I'm here making a video on a topic that I never actually thought I'd be talking about, but the title is correct. GTA 6 has finally been announced. And I don't mean like I watched a GTA 5 YouTuber just cope saying GTA 6 is here because they saw the letter 6 wrote on the wall somewhere. Because believe me, the GTA 6 theory videos have probably made those YouTubers millions of dollars because they are just, they're, there's so many of them. But Rockstar Games dropped a mysterious moonlit post hinting at GTA 6. Rockstar blatantly teased GTA 6. Is Rockstar teasing GTA 6 with the moon? Usually they begin with the kind of premise of, so guys, today I, I think I found a leak for GTA 6. If you drive to the north side of the map, and if you look at this car's license plate, it actually says uh, the number 6 on it. I even remember at one point there was like a bunch of towels on the beaches of Los Santos in GTA 5. And one of them said like, I love VC or like, I love Vice City. And then they made an entire video off that saying, oh my god, guys, the next GTA is going to be set in Vice City. Now, Rockstar, as we know, has been around for the best part of two decades now, starting off with GTA 1 that came out all the way back in 1999. And it's funny because at the minute, GTA 6 is said to be the most expensive video game ever made. I think it's going to cost anywhere between one to two billion dollars. But the thing is, GTA would not have the cultural significance it does today if it wasn't for the first Grand Theft Auto. And I remember reading so many articles about the original game on how what Rockstar would do is actually pay people to write negative reviews about the game. Not saying that it's a boring bad game, but it's too violent, it's too gory, your kids shouldn't play this. And obviously when you tell someone to not do something, they're going to do the complete opposite of that. So for that reason, through kind of shady marketing, Rockstar built a foundation off the first Grand Theft Auto game. Now there have been loads and loads of memes around GTA 6. I've already talked about the scummy YouTubers that would basically try to milk just complete lies. But more recently, for example, you had the Bill Clinton kid that went on the stage at the Game Awards. Not him, but some really poor impersonator that went on stage and asked, where is GTA 6? Lucky enough to start playing it. Don't be jealous. Uh, I'm not allowed to say anything about it. And yes, exactly. All right. Well, guys. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Really disappointed. They're disappointed. But first, I want to say, don't you just hate when you use an internet browser that slows everything down on your PC? Like how if you open up multiple tabs of your browser, everything just slows down to a crawl? Well, thankfully, you can enhance your PC performance with Opera GX that's sponsoring today's video. Opera GX has an exclusive feature where you can limit the CPU and RAM usage of the browser, meaning that you can game and browse like a complete degenerate. Let's say you're playing Dark Souls 3 and you want to find out where all the collectibles are. <laughs> no! So you need 15 tabs open on the wiki page. Opera GX allows you to do that without hampering your game experience. And if you don't take my word for it, look at this comparison. Opera GX and Chrome, you cannot even compare the amount of RAM and CPU that Chrome hugs. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I really like mods. Some specific mods. Oh, fuck. You can basically modify and customize Opera GX to do pretty much anything you want. Like, for example, do you want a fart sound effect to play whenever you type? They, they wrote that in the ad brief, by the way. I, I feel like I'm being called out. My personal setup for Opera GX is to make every single icon Ryan Gosling while it plays the drive soundtrack in the background, because he is literally me. You can have opening and closing tab sounds, loads of themes and color changes, mods dedicated wallpaper. You can visit the Opera GX store right now to enable and download any of these mods. You can even get external applications in the Opera GX sidebar, like for example, Discord, so you can message your little kitten at three in the morning. Also as well, if you download Opera GX in the link on screen or down in the description, you will get an exclusive version of Opera GX that will constantly update you on the latest videos that I upload. Basically, you'll be able to see the latest 12 videos that I've uploaded onto the channel. So what I'm basically trying to say is, your current browser is pretty bad, but by using the link in the description and on screen, you can get your own version of Opera GX and make the experience of browsing so much better. And thank you, Opera GX, for sponsoring this video. Now, the funny thing is about the YouTubers that would lie about Grand Theft Auto 6, I actually made loads and loads of videos on them years ago because the thing is, there is no more higher level of treachery and deception than the Grand Theft Auto community because they know that there is so much money to be made there. I even remember like four or five years ago making videos on these YouTubers that would like try to stop the train in GTA 5. But the thing is, the train couldn't be stopped. It couldn't be derailed. And I'm sure if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, 
you probably remember Sanando, who was basically infamous for faking these Grand Theft Auto unboxing videos. Like for example, this video where he apparently, allegedly, unboxed Grand Theft Auto 6. Oh my God. Oh God, there it is. PS4 Grand Theft Auto 6. Okay, and finally, the very last thing we got here. Let me go ahead and take this out. Grand Theft Auto 6. There we go, everybody. And now if you go onto his channel, he hasn't uploaded for three months and all the content he did was basically doing aimbot in Fortnite. So these kinds of people, once the content dries up, they will then move on to the next game and just start leeching off that. And it's really funny because these GTA 6 videos didn't go unnoticed. Some of them getting tens of millions of views, which attracted a lot of attention, especially from Rockstar, but more notably, the actual cast of GTA 5. For example, I found this clip here of Ned Luke, who voices Michael DeSanto in GTA GTA 5 and you can tell he really does not like these GTA YouTubers. The GTA 6 questions. All right. And here's the thing about that. If we're in it, we can't tell you. If we're not in it, we can't tell you. Be patient. It'll come out. And when it does, it's going to be awesome. Who knows when that's going to be? Not me and not anybody else. The only one who knows is Rockstar and maybe, well, I think obviously, uh, uh, Whatever his name is, Boss Man Fuck the World. I think he knows when it's coming out, or at least he'll tell you that he does. But, you know, we all know that that's clickbait bullshit, so. If you don't remember Mr. Boss for the win, he was another infamous GTA YouTuber. The views he gets now per video aren't that great, but back in the day, his most viewed videos were just him lying. Like for example, his second most viewed video, how to win the luxury wheel podium car every single time in GTA 5, despite it being random chance, he's making it out that you can get it guaranteed every single time. Again, a legit lie. And then if you look at his more recent content, he's just showing screenshots that were leaked of GTA 6's development blog. But then when you actually click on the video, hoping to get some kind of GTA 6 gameplay, it's just him playing GTA 5 with like a bunch of shader mods. I mean, all you need to do is go onto his channel and you can just see how abysmal the dislike ratio is. So initially, Rockstar made a tweet saying next month marks the 25th anniversary of Rockstar Games. Thanks to the incredible support of our players worldwide, we have had the opportunity to create games we're truly passionate about. They basically just jerk themselves off for like the next five tweets, but then they finish it by saying, we are very excited to let you know that in early December, we will release the first trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto. We look forward to many more years of sharing these experiences with you all. Thank you, Sam Hauser. And then the first reply for some reason is the Among Us game. Now, there's two problems with this situation. First of all, they're happy the experiences they're gonna make because they know they're probably gonna make one to two billion dollars in revenue from the shark cards, probably within the first week of the game releasing. So that one to two billion dollars to make it the most most expensive game ever made. Don't worry about it. Th that, that, that is just a small loan that you are going to pay them back for. And also on top of that, I get it. I'm excited for GTA 6. But where's Bully? Where's Bully 2? Like, do you remember that game where you'd walk around in a school, like, beating up prefects and stuff and sneaking out at night past curfew? That was an amazing game. I still need to do a main channel video on it at some point. But still, like, w why aren't we getting a Bully 2? I mean, I get it. Like, it does not need the budget that GTA 6 would make. And it would not make near enough the amount of money that GTA 6 would. But still, like, I don't understand why game companies aren't focusing on the smaller games because Rockstar is owned by Take 2. And Take 2 is a monolith of a company. Company. Rockstar themselves are a big company. They have got branches all over the world in London, different parts of America. They're actually looking now at opening a Rockstar business inside of India. So to say that they've got a lack of employees is definitely not true. And of course, you had the regular Twitter comedian Dolan reply saying, can you guys delay it a few more years? I want to play GTA 5 on the PS6. Thanks. Troy, are you whining? Troy. Hey. Hey. Puppies. I'll go lie there. Sit. Good boy. Now, this is the funny part. Again, GTA 6 has not even been given a release date. All that's been announced is soon there will be a trailer, which probably will have a release date. But you think that's going to stop the scammers? You think that's going to stop people trying to steal the last four digits of your credit card? Hell no. So during this Twitter thread of Rockstar basically saying there will be a GTA 6 trailer, there was a verified account on Twitter that got hacked. And then it pretended to be Rockstar Games with the same display name and also having the little verified tick. And then they gave a link saying if you join our Telegram group, we're going to give you exclusive updates on GTA 6, which is the most sussy thing I have heard in my entire life. And then funnily enough, of all people, 
people. Opera GX actually came in to save the day, telling everyone that it was a scam. And then on top of that, the community notes also came in, telling everyone that it was a scam. And thankfully now, the account has been promptly suspended. Now you can really tell that the fanboys are out in full force. For example, some guy here made a t-shirt that he was trying to sell, basically saying, I was here at the tweet of Rockstar announcing there will be a trailer for a release date of GTA 6. This is like, this is like three layers. I get it. If you survive to the point where GTA 6 actually came out, fair enough, because it's been like 10 years. But it's a tweet. Now, I do want to say the GTA 6 release date could not come sooner enough, because if you haven't noticed recently, Rockstar has actually been losing a lot of street cred. I mean, their most recent installment in the GTA franchise was the Definitive Edition, which remade, I think it was GTA 3, San Andreas, and Vice City. And as we all know, that was absolutely god-awful. That was a complete trash dumpster fire. Everyone made videos on it. I think, actually, that was the first or one of the first videos that I made on the Power Live channel, just ribbing into the game, because it was absolutely horrendous. I'm a Johnson boy. I'm his mouth did not even move when he spoke them. Oh. And on top of that as well, their most recent mainstream release, which is Red Dead Redemption 2, they have basically completely neglected any kind of multiplayer aspect. The multiplayer on that, it is full of tryhards now because like th th there's no support for the game because they're still supporting GTA 5 because the shark card system on that makes them so much more money. I mean, think about it. You've got GTA 5, a 10 year old game, and you've got Red Dead 2, which is like, I think like a five or six year old game at this point. Are you going to play the game where you need to spend gold, real money to get like a horse that's 5% faster? Or are you going to buy the one that gives you like a super mega battle tank so you can go around and just roll over everyone for the next 20 minutes until you get bored and then probably spend more money to buy the next thing up the chain. Now I have also seen a few people saying that this might not actually be GTA 5 but instead a remaster of GTA 4. I'll be honest they're probably not going to do that after how badly the definitive edition was received but also that being said I wouldn't really mind a remaster or a remake of GTA 4. I mean I'll be honest I played through it recently and I hate to admit it guys GTA 4 is it's kind of boring. It is great. And I know we've all seen the Crobe Cat video comparing GTA 5 to GTA 4 and how GTA 4 is so much better. Like, you know, with realism and graphics, you shoot someone in the leg, they're going to grab their leg. You can shoot the gun out their hand. But honestly, the game itself is kind of boring. And what have Twitter done? Obviously, because they hate everyone, they're now already asking for GTA 7, which I'm sure that all the GTA YouTubers will probably make a week from now.